Well, hello, this is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I would like to help you to understand the Weld tool through a nice little video where we're going to do a nice little example with uh, sheet metal, half inch thick sheet metal, and a device that needs to be welded together. So, as you can see, this little assembly is made up of different components that are placed into an assembly and that's how a lot of weldments are done. Um, some people choose to make weldments where all the parts are in one part file but in this particular case we have the other method where you're actually creating the different components and uh, promoting them to an assembly to create a weldment. And so you have all the components where they belong in, in three space and then you have to weld them together so if you go to menu insert there's a command here called weld assistant or a function if you will and you can go up and select perhaps a fillet weld and the fillet weld tool allows you to control the size of the weld you can measure it with a throat thickness let's call it 0.5 inches or you can measure it with by measuring along the sides there but for this example we're going to do a throat thic thickness and the weld tool works very similarly to the face blend tool in that you select a set of faces and another set of faces and NX is smart enough to uh, create a weld in between the faces so for example if I select on this face here it gives me the message this selection will be added to the work part as a wave link so it's creating the actual weld uh, geometry in the context of the assembly but it's relating to the surfaces in each component and then I select the other surface there that the weld is going to go through and it shows me the profile that's going to be used and I can give it limits I can say that I want to start uh, 0.5 inches away from the edges uh, that's very common so when you're welding you always have to be careful about burning uh, through the edges and so in many cases you'll you'll not want to go all the way to the end so there you have uh, a weld again I'm gonna do it one more time I'm gonna say menu insert weld assistant fillet weld and this time I'm gonna do skip welding skip welds so I'm gonna do 10 welds and they're each gonna be um, 1.25 inches long okay and I'm going to select a face right here of course the, I'm going to have a start limit and an end limit uh, 0.5 away I go into the select the second face there and say okay and there it goes it just puts in a bunch of skip welds so that is fantastic. Uh, now the next thing that's really great about using this tool is when you do the actual drawing the weld um, uh, symbols can be created automatically. So here we go. I'm going to say File, New. I'm going to pick out a drawing template when the thing gets good and ready. <laughs> comes up with a drawing template it's going to uh, relate to the assembly that I have so it's going to be assembly underscore DWG1 I'm going to use a nice little uh, D sized sheet D sized sheet there say OK and I'm going to uh, I'm just going to skip all the uh, title block stuff and the very first view I'm going to put in uh, is going to be uh, 1 and 6 view that's just my scale yeah, I could probably do a little better than that let's try um, let's try one and four and let's let's rotate the view so we can see where the sketches are hold your finger on the right mouse button and go to snap view Say okay still my scale is not exactly what I'd like uh, maybe maybe um, maybe one and three let's go to ratio one and three here Okay, there's a good scale and I'm going to place that on the drawing maybe place another view on the drawing like this and now it's time to create the 
weld symbols. So if you go to, uh, let's see, if you go to menu, insert, annotations, you'll find right here auto weld symbol, auto weld symbol. And the way this works is you select the view and then you go to select objects and you select object, object and say OK. And now what you get is the weld symbols with all the cool things. This is telling you that there's 10 welds, that there's uh, 0.125 long. And so uh, it's amazing how powerful this tool is and the ability to uh, create these welds and these weld symbols very quickly. Well, thank you very much. This is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. And again, um, these little videos that uh, we create are I think very helpful to people, but um, more importantly, I think it's a great privilege to do them and uh, to contribute to the overall creative community that we have, NX users and um, mechanical engineers all over the place, all over the world really, and hopefully we use our great skills to bring about products that will improve the lives of many, many people. So thanks for the privilege. Please uh, check out our website. Uh, www.designviz.com and check out our YouTube channel, Design Visionaries YouTube channel, where you'll see a lot more videos. Thanks again.